The next thing we'll move on with SVPN paper. So this is one of the uh, concentration paper in your CCNP security exams. Now this paper mainly focuses on implementing and securing the VPN solutions like virtual private networks. So this is going to test your candidate skills on implementing a secure remote connections. That's what the Cisco terminology says, uh, securing the remote connections. So basically here you'll learn how to uh, configure some of the remote connections like VPNs, including side to side or remote side VPNs, the different VPN options you have. And additionally, you also try to understand the different architecture requirements uh, based on the customer requirements, uh, how we are going to design basically some kind of architecture concepts. And also you'll be doing some kind of troubleshooting of, of these things. So if you, if you check the Cisco website, you have mainly four sections in this. Now the first section uh, mainly talks about side to side VPNs. So let me go to the URL and see. Okay, so if you check the URL here, uh, again, the same thing here. This is the one of the exam associated with your CCNP security certifications and mainly includes securing the communications architecture and the troubleshooting options. Like there are four sections. The first section it talks more about side to side VPNs. In other words, we can say how we can connect one LAN to another LAN. So let's say you have a branch branch in Hyderabad and you have another branch in let's say Dubai. So how you are going to connect a VPN, a virtual private network between these two sites. So using different options like we have DM VPN, dynamic multipoint VPN, and then we have flex VPN options. So basically these are the two VPNs we, we use in today's networks again. Uh, if you go with the older CCNP papers, we also have some other VPNs like GRE, which is no more used. So basically you also have some side to side VPN uh, configurations with uh, on the ASA uh, with a basic uh, side to side VPNs with IPsec. So we still will be using IPsec in side to side, but nowadays we will be using these VPNs and will implement IPsec over these VPNs. So basically you will learn how to implement this, these two types of VPNs. Get VPN is also not used. So basically you are going to learn the described get VPNs, but the main uh, two types of VPNs we'll be covering here is DM VPN and the flex VPNs. Okay, so again, for both IPv4 and IPv6 uh, networks. So the second section, you'll be focusing on remote access VPNs. Now in the remote access VPNs is like, uh, is like remote connection. So I'll, I'll talk about overview in the initial topics. What is VPN and all those concepts. So basically, like as per the, you know, Cisco design, if you're going with a CCNA, so already you, you will have a foundation knowledge on VPN already in the CCNA. So basically it's like, you know, uh, you already learn CCNA in the new CCNA paper. And then when you jump into the CCNP, you already know some basic foundation on VPN. But anyway, in the course, we'll be covering uh, basic VPN as well here. So that, that's how the course is designed here. So you're going to see how to connect remotely. If I'm sitting in my home, how I can access my network by using two different options. So there are two ways you can use SSL protocol or you can use IPsec protocol suite. Basically, of course, the end, end, end software we use any connect by using SSL and IPsec protocols. And also how we can combine this remote VPNs with the flex VPN on the routers. Okay, so you can see it's more into configuration on ASA and the routers. On, on both the devices. So these are the two main core topics what you will be seeing in this paper. And the remaining remaining two sections, basically this is more of troubleshooting of what you did here. So whatever the two sections you covered earlier, the side to side VPNs and the remote access VPNs, you will be seeing how you exactly troubleshoot them. And of course, the next concepts are like uh, secure communication architecture. Now, in this section, you you actually learn uh, to identify the different components we'll be using in different types of VPNs, whether it is site-to-site -site or remote access VPNs. So identify the functional components uh, and identifying the technology uh, based on the configuration outputs. 
and also uh, like like functional the same thing you know functional requirement requirements as per the customer and identifying the split tunneling concepts now split tunneling is like when a user is trying to connect to the remote site there are two types of traffic because as he connects through internet now there are two types of traffic we need to differentiate one is going to the remote site the other one is going to the internet so how we are going to identify the split tunneling concept how we separate these two types of traffics uh, additionally you you also see some kind of uh, other concepts like how we design the side to side vpn solutions and also what are the considerations you are going to uh, uh, you are going to see depending upon the customer requirements or depending upon the resources what you have depending upon the number of sites uh, you of the customer is having okay so basically this is more like designing uh, and additionally at the end you will be also just uh, identifying something called elliptical curve cryptography ecc algorithms now this is uh, one kind of public key encryption which is a technique used based on elliptical theory uh, basically this is to create uh, faster uh, smaller cryptographic keys so you will be identifying that options as well